Welcome back, everyone. Today we're looking at Wheelo. <laughs> this is our second take, actually. We tried it again the first time, but I forgot to hit the record button. So thank you for Tim's patience. Um, but again, guys, Wheelo is a new uh, virtual uh, office tool uh, or conferencing tool that allows you to be in the same. If you're in the same room, you can hear each other. Uh, in Wheelo, you actually have this uh, video gallery mode that you can move to. That's at the top of the screen. And uh, let's just move to full screen real quick. So I can hit exit gallery view and I can go back and we can actually talk and see each other in the um, in little circles here. But we're going to be exploring this today with Tim Nolan's help and uh, get his thoughts on it as well. I think that there's going to be another wave of virtual conferencing. I feel like these could really uh, not kill Zoom altogether, but replace and enhance the experience that we have and uh, wanted to get Tim's feedback on it. Make sure if you have feedback, put it in the comments below. Let me know if you have experienced. Uh, but without further ado, let's get started here. Um, so Tim, where should we start based on our past video <laughs> and how we explored the space? Uh, where, where's the best place to start? Well, uh, let's just start with just the, uh, the experience here. I like the room is kind of defined you get to see exactly where you get to go. I mean, I think I like the structure here and I think it, it depends on the nature of the, the meeting you're having or the work, the group that you're having. If you're, if you want to have a, just like a quick meeting, I think this is probably the best way to do it. You know, if you want to have, and then, and then you've got these side spaces, like we're in a room now that has a circle of chairs, yep. uh, but there's also some couches and chairs around. Those are like private spaces. Yep. as we discovered so that's kind of neat too so it's not really a breakout room per se just if you want to do a like a sidebar you can just pop over and then uh and then have someone meet you at the same space and then that would be private conversations over there so i kind of like that idea so you can toggle between private you know you know discussion and and the the greater meeting room here yep the uh Unlike Topia, everything's at the bottom here. You have like a room chat here. You have emojis that you can put up next to your name, like, yay, emoji. And um, the, he's uh, <laughs> doing awesome. I can share my screen, of course. I might do that here in a second to show the experience uh, to Tim about how he can change the different rooms. But unlike mm -hmm. Topia, where you can just have a lot of people gathered, there is a fixed space here to where if you're not in one of these chairs, like if you if I go over here, for example, in this room, you won't be able to hear me if you're in these chairs. So it's not like this room right here. It's like this is the room around these chairs, and we're all talking to each other. And we, I can't add a chair here, guys. Like I can't just, unlike Topi, I can't just add another chair for visual effect and uh, what have you. It has to be the number of chairs and you are so if i go over here there's only like what eight spaces and that's the max like no one can just walk by and walk up which i guess might be a good thing depending uh, but this is a very much more structured experience and i can also zoom out i can see the bounds of the world uh, i don't have to control scroll i just use the scroll wheel to zoom out and uh yeah that's most of the experience of course i have the the ability to broadcast to the entire space I can start a space timer. Um, I can ask everyone to join this area. Uh, I can share a video clip, manage resources. I have no idea what start one, two, three liberating structures is. Oh, you moved it. How did you move inside? Yeah, I just noticed that. I, uh, if you kind of hover over, it looks like there's about another 20 or so spaces inside this. So I think we could have people in the chairs and standing in the, uh, in the middle space. Okay, so I thought sitting on the floor, but yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Learn something new every day. Didn't that wasn't in the first video? So take two. That's right. Take two for this. All right, cool. We're already we're already improving. Yep, already. And uh, we I can't move outside here, but other areas uh, we're gonna explore here in a second. Uh, I guess you can see is here, like Tim pointed out, you can have a different, like all these different areas that you can meet in here. We're just sitting around. Uh, I don't know. This reminds me of like the the Rebel Alliance and three meeting inside that room trying to playing against the death star <laughs> but um yeah so we were di we were just we were discussing in our previous video or i guess the video we didn't actually record which is not previous because you won't be able to see it uh the differences between Wheelow and topia and what i what i was discussing 
uh, is that I like Topia for a much more creative uh, like conference experience where you're able to walk around in different stuff. But this, this seems like it's very easy. Um, or Tim was mentioning this is very easy and uh, easy to use. I'll let you kind of reiterate what you said, Tim. I don't want to like take words out of your mouth, but no, no, sure. Yeah, I think that that this is kind of the the next step to a traditional Zoom conference because uh, it gives you a little bit more of a visual taste of what a conference might be like. And it is structured enough to where you're like you click here, you're in this room. You click uh, the tables, then you're in a breakout room, uh, you know, and automatically. And then you get to choose where you go. I imagine there may be some way to, I don't know if you can set that up to where you, you force people to certain like table three. Uh, I'm not sure if that's on your own, but it does seem like it is, it's a, uh, like I said, I think this is the next step to, uh, to a, a virtual conference. Is I really like this interface. I, I find it intuitive. It's easy to use. We've even discovered a few things the, uh, the few times we tested this around, uh, and it seemed to be pretty easy. Yep, definitely a much more structured, clear experience. It's not as not as vague, I guess, as uh, Topia at this point. Uh, but you know, people they both develop, so we'll see how that goes. What I love is that like what I like about Willow is I can come over here. And we you know where the breakout rooms could be, right? Like these four areas where people can join. And, you know, you t can designate that. What I, what I like about Topia, though, is I'm, I'm able actually to put something here for people to work on in a previous state. I can't really do that in Wilo right now. Like, I can't click on the table and say, hey, you're going to be a mural link. You're going to be a mural link. You're going to be a video. Right. I can share a video here when we're all in the same room, which is really nice. And then say, hey, go to the breakout rooms. And then I could go join each room and I could chat them you know, hey, this is your this is your Miro link. This is your Miro link. And uh, you could do things that way. But um, I like that I could do kind of the work ahead of time to to give mm -hmm. people that uh, that freedom and not have to put, you know, how do I say this? Not have to do it all in the session. It takes a, I can pre pre preload the work, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Right. Um, but yeah, so and I like in Topia, like, like you mentioned too, is that there's also a feature. One of the coolest features that I saw there was if you're near someone, you could talk to somebody. Yeah. So, uh, if you, if you set it up where instead of just double clicking to be in the next room, you actually navigate from this space to that space with your mouse or key, key, uh, keystrokes. Yeah. Uh, you can have a discussion at the same time. So that, that does kind of give that feeling of, that between conference space, between sessions. I've been to a lot of virtual conferences and they're trying to recreate that, you know, that special networking that everybody does between sessions or, you know, like in the hallway conversations kind of things. And I think Topia is the closest thing to it uh, from what we've demonstrated, uh, you know, in the last couple of videos. So, uh, so that's a cool feature. Uh, but, you know, if you just want to take, you know, I think Wheelow is good if you just want to go like one more step past a traditional Zoom meeting. Yep, and uh, not not go too crazy as well. It's like Topia gives you if you want all the control, Topia is the way to go. If you want like that that right. sim simplicity, I feel like this is a great great tool for that. And I've, I'm going to show you here in a second. Mm -hmm. There's tons of uh, share. Go ahead and share my screen for Tim so he can so he can view, but. Uh, there's tons of different uh, space settings where you want to go. Tons of different little ways to change your room. And uh, also the, the guest experience is really awesome. I'll just uh, take a second to show that. All you really have to do is click on the link that someone sends you in your email. And then you get brought in. And you have to choose your camera and whatnot. And then you're you're basically here. Double Double click wherever you want to go. Um, mm -hmm. But getting back to editing the space, uh, here is what you do. You go and you click that settings button and then it brings you here. And uh, then you go to, um, you can select just different team sizes. If you want to have 50 to 100 users, uh, extra large more than 100. And um, yeah, you can just, there's tons of different spaces you can go to let's go to 10 to 50 just to kind of give you a sense of oh that's the one i have <laughs> that doesn't show you anything <laughs> different um 
you know, something like this. Uh, I have no idea what that would be used for. That's really unique office space. Um, they have like something like this where you can probably go outside and have like all the people in the the space here, your different breakout rooms. Um, so yeah, it's, there's tons of options, guys. Yeah, so it seems like in some of this, I mean, they're attempting to create a, a real virtual office space. Yep. You know, so in some of those templates, you can have your own office and you could be in there quietly until someone pops in, you know, like a drive by meeting. And then that would be as if you were in the office. So I think that was that seems like what they're trying to do here, too, with some of those uh, some of those settings is not just a conference setting, but like an off or true office setting, too. Yep. And I think that space. you have also have the ability to knock, I think. Uh, I haven't tried that out yet, okay. but um but yeah, so I'm. At, but how much money though? Like seriously, if you're going to use this as a virtual office, how much money do you spend on the actual office space? And if you could get rid of that, and like let's say, yeah. or even just reduce it by like a, such a great degree. Let's say you have, need to have customers come in. Okay, so you have customers come in. Great, you now have like three or four little office space. You know, the receptionist job doesn't go away. They could go into a uh, an office space or a, a small room. And they could bring the, the salesperson or the account manager up on the screen and they could be virtual still or they could come into the office if they wanted to, depending. But now you have a, a virtual space where uh, the office can be and then you could also have like virtual office, like you could create another room, a smaller room of this nature and have people be able to go into those office rooms uh, virtually and physically, you know, you don't understand what I'm saying, Tim. Is this is this making right. sense? So it makes total sense. I mean, I think the first thing I'm going to do is, at least with the Wheelo, is try to recreate our exact office. You know, where where I, you know, uh, my county office, and just because if we do remote, you know, half on half off kind of thing, then you know, you can you can still occupy your space virtually. And you know, if I needed to go talk to somebody, I would just go to their space or knock or do whatever we needed to do. Uh, yeah, I think that'd be fantastic. It'd be an interesting experience to see. You, know, you definitely could see them in their space. They're on the job working, but they're not physically there. Yeah, and I think that like there's that. I mean, let's think from a management perspective, right? You, we now know that we're all remote, and we have the ability to remote in and use Zoom. But no one's going to sit in a Zoom meeting, and at least that I know right. of, and you know all day long. But you can sit in this. And yet still be like, because if I leave a room and I come back, we have to enable our video. So it's not like someone's just going to like pop up on you and your video is enabled instantly. I'm sure there might be a setting for that in here somewhere. But that still gives you the sense of privacy, but yet you know someone is there at work. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I feel like that is a, a just a huge option and a, and a, how do I say this? A, a way to know that people are working and logged in and present but not, um, uh, what's the word? Well, they, you, they can work without interruption. So management could glance and see people working. They don't have to call you or text you or find out what you're working on. They could just see that you're in the office, the virtual office. You know, I think that's a great point that you made was that I think that's been the biggest problem a lot with some remote work is that management doesn't think you're actually working. Yeah. Well, here, the, you know, at least you can see that you're in your office or you're in your space and you could be reached. Uh, so the experience is similar to it would be in in person office. I need to go talk to James right now. I'm going to go to James's space and go talk to him. But even the advantage to that, like in an office space, you're, of course, limited by your walls and your glass around you. Right. But now, you know, oh, let's I, let me zoom out. What's, you know, I'm just going to say, John, what's John doing over here? Oh, he's in a meeting with right. Lucy. Oh, okay. I see that they're both in the same space. Um, you know, it's you don't have to be like, oh, I don't, I'll just wait. I don't want to interrupt. Or, you know, if you've got a call come in and you're like, well, is this person available? Oh, I see they're in a meeting. I don't have to look at a calendar. I don't have to, like, right. you know, bring 30 things up. All I literally have to do is zoom out. And it's just kind of like, you know. So, anyways, I think it could be really cool. Would love If you're a company and you're a... Uh, yeah, let me know if you're going to use it for this way, because I'd be really interested to hear uh, if you're going to use it for this. So, 
But yep, that's the tool. Uh, of course, you have chat here. You have emojis. Um, we had covered share screen, all the different things you can do. We covered being able to change your office setting and just set up. Uh, <laughs> Tim just chatted me. Like hi. Um, so you can of course have a guest link. This is how you send guests. You know your link. Um, toggle room labels. You can of course label things. So if you want to set up your office, Tim, you can label label things so people know. If you don't want to, if you don't have a scroll wheel, then you have scroll buttons. Uh, of course, you have video settings. Uh, you can hide all incoming videos, hide my video, show picture in picture. Uh, so now I can go somewhere else, and actually I can still see Tim's stuff. So let me hop out of this and go to like the Wheelo website. Now I can still see Tim in my little space here in the lower right, and uh, mm -hmm. we can still chat. So it's really cool too. It's in beta. Uh, I'll turn that off. So right now there's no there's no pay option. I you thought know, that I believe. Yeah, I, mean, they... I mean, I mean, I can go back to the the Wheelo app website. Um, I didn't see an option to pay or any like upgrade, whatever. I think it's in. They're literally getting feedback and stuff right now. And uh, let me see. Uh, Wheelo dot space is that what it is? Yep, it's Wheelo dot space. And so. And so James. And why don't you demonstrate, go go to one of those tables or go to some other space. I'll stay here and see, you know, what happens. Yep. I'm going to lose lose you, but that's what happens. So I've now lost Tim. You can see that whenever I join a new table, the uh, I my video and different stuff automatically turn off. You have to enable them each time. Uh, I'm sure you might be able to change that. But I'm going to join Tim again, and uh, you'll see what happens. Of course, I'm loading here, and uh, there we go. So now I'm back, but I haven't enabled anything okay. yet. So now I'm back, and now I've enabled okay. my video and audio. You can see as I join, everything's automatically blacked out, so you don't have to worry about, you know, if, you're, if your hair is messed up, you know, you can grab a hat, you know, you can join the meeting, but not necessarily, like, um, join in. You don't have to worry about stuff happening so i know there's been some funny zoom instances um but. you know at, uh, while you were away james i was thinking um uh, that uh, you know you can do right now we're looking at camera but you can also uh turn off your camera and it shows your avatar uh <clears throat> we we try to uh to do the pomodoro technique here you know so if you're busy you need, you need to really focus on something and maybe you can make your avatar a little tomato so people know that you're not to be disturbed you oh, know, okay. without being too rude about it. So that might be a, a, a neat little feature, too, is just change your avatar to the tomato and know that you're unavailable for a little while and then turn your camera back on when you're done. You know, if you're in between, uh, you know, either you're a break or you're actually done with the Pomodoro uh, exercise. Yeah, I thought there was right, a way to... Uh... To ch maybe that was in the other maybe that was in Topia but I thought I could put myself as away or at lunch or different stuff like that maybe they changed the emojis but I thought I had an emoji here that I could put to, um, put over my head hmm maybe you not. had it as a smiley face it was near the camera so I could still see you but I could see it uh, you know I can see the smiley face next to it. So yeah, that would be kind of cool if you can do like a tomato or something like that, or some other feature to let you know that you're. Uh... Anyway, Busy. just a thought. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's there, guys. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I did it, unless it got taken away. But we'll we'll figure it out. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's that's Wheelo people. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, like and subscribe. Support the channel. Uh, give a. Tim's LinkedIn will be in the description, so should give a shout out to him or connect with him if you have questions. Um, uh, but yep, keep on learning, guys, and thanks again, Tim, for for joining. Thank you, James. It's right. been fun.